there's so few female health tech entrepreneurs. Give, give us a, an idea. Were there any obstacles you had to overcome in order to get to where you're at today? And what would you, what would you say to maybe the next generation in terms of doing things today that will prepare them for that role? Yeah, I think when I talk with sometimes clinicians or, or scientists who are interested in being entrepreneurs in healthcare, I do think actually having the clinical experience, you know, I'll talk to med students sometime and they'll say, hey, should I just quit and go start a company? And I usually advise them, no, actually go out there and, and really understand what your colleagues in medicine are experiencing because the ability to be empathetic when you're building technology is incredibly important. And I think that's been very important for us as a company to really you know, understand the pain points and the priority of those pain points and sort of the schlag of the day-to-day -day in medicine sometimes. You come in, you've got 40 patients to see, and at the end of the day, you actually want to go home and have dinner with your own family. And so I'll, you know, repeat that to my team over and over. We can't build better technology that adds an hour to their day. We just can't. Nobody will use that because over time, they actually want to be able to go home at night. Um, so I think coming at it with that perspective of I'm going to go get some experience that will help me be um, able to better relate to those end users is one approach. Um, you know, raising money, I, I'm, I'm pretty involved in female entrepreneurship organizations, and there's a big gap in terms of the amount of money that women raise as entrepreneurs versus men. And while I had worked in venture capital, I really didn't have connections into healthcare VCs. So that was a big obstacle to overcome for sure, and you have to just be tenacious, be okay with being told no dozens, if not hundreds of times, and be confident in what you believe in and your vision. And if you're really providing value, somebody else will see that and appreciate it and support you. 